Sakala. So I'm here to testify to what God has done concerning my career now. Amen. So um, I remember I in my conduct remember this my testimony is Yama Kaba Man of God. And on 7th May, he testified and he said that I shouldn't worry about my job. Mm -hmm. And he also said that God was going to give me the grace of um, seeing my dreams, seeing visions in my dreams. Mm -hmm. So, and then next, last month when I came on, on a Sunday, the man of God had prayed for me concerning my job. And then on Monday, in the afternoon, I received the call. And then they were saying they wanted my NRA number. My number. And then after a week or so, again they had to call me. But about my children and my takes, they said they should go and get my appointment later. I was shocked, I was surprised because out of our class, it was a class of 74 people, but only two have been posted. Me and my friend, which is a blessing. So not um I was surprised when I went to Kuja on a Monday, my mom had escorted me, we went to Tengaleta Kuja. When I received the letter, I was shocked that I was posted within Lusaka, so I was posted by UTH. That's why I started to wake him in. Jesus. And it was surprising because before I even received, before I went to UTH for me to see the word that I was waking in, I had a dream that I was wake, waking in a medical ward. There's a number of that I was waking in a ward, no medicine. And then when I was being allocated to the ward that I was waking to, by nursing principal, one of my big weaknesses, had said, we're taking you to a medical ward. So I was very shocked. As I said, but this is what I dreamed. So I went to a medical ward and I've been working to, uh, in, under a medical ward. And ever since then, I knew my lot, I'm sure, I would dream that, like the first week that I started with, the time was not yet out, but I had a dream that on Tuesday I was not going to go to work. And it happened on Tuesday, I was given an off day. Last week, Sunday, I was telling my mom that this Sunday I have to go to work. I'll be given two, two days off. So today and tomorrow, I have two days off. I don't know where the grace is coming from, but she chose to come, but it's been happening. Sometimes I'll even test myself in that but I protest in the city. Like on Monday, I was going to work, and then I said, our conduct, our, our driver was a fixer bus, was a fixer bus, and the bus had stopped. So I've been surprised, I've been surprised because everything that I've been speaking towards my life has been happening. So this is the testimony that I had. Before I... When the man of God said, this year, I will testify about my job. Me, in my mind, I thought I was going to get my job in September because the postings had stopped. But I received a letter that said my appointment letter was out this month and he tested, and he gave me this prophecy last last month, which was very surprising. So I want to thank God for the test. Ah, Jesus. But you need to know, what, what job do you have now? I'm working as a nurse under a government hospital, which is very surprising. And people have been telling me, "Are oh, you? You are very lucky because I've only been in for six months." And people sometimes Mons for a year, for two years, but people have been shocked and saying, "Ah, oh, how come? How come?" So it's only God. Amen. 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 Let's give it to Christ.